There are things you know that you can do, specific action steps that will make your life better. Maybe it will improve your relationships, or maybe your health, or your finances. You know the steps you need to take so you can finally be working in a job you actually love, getting paid what you're worth, having that partner with whom things actually work instead of being painful. You know the steps to do, but you don't take them. How come? I could give you a long list of reasons that you're telling yourself that other people have put up all over the internet. But the thing is, reasons are excuses. They're excuses you tell yourself for why you're not doing them. But how do they serve you? And the bottom line is they don't. There's only one reason. One real, truly, bottom line reason. You're not taking those steps you need to take, even though you know. Well, you have doubts about whether you'll get the outcome you want. That's one of the reasons that might be out of your awareness. And that <laughs> builds right into the fact that the big secret is you just don't love yourself. You don't love, honor, and respect yourself. Now, it's easy for that to happen if you're a woman because we're socialized to meet everybody else's needs first. Because we get called selfish if we actually do something for ourselves. But the thing is, you owe your best self to others. And here's the really important piece you're missing. When you don't love, honor, and respect yourself, you're just going through the motions of love, honoring, and respecting others because that basis that comes from the heart with the meaning and desire to do all those things is missing. It's not at a hundred percent. You can't keep putting out if you're not filling your own tank full. The way to actually test yourself is to make a commitment to yourself. Chances are you'll make commitments to other people, but to yourself, that doesn't get fulfilled, it just falls by the wayside. What commitment can you make to yourself? Here's something that Mark Twain said. You know, he wasn't just a great storyteller. He was extremely wise. And he said, I want to be sure I get this right. To promise not to do a thing is the surest way in the world to make a body want to go and do that very thing. So what are you going to do that's different for yourself today? you got to start today. If you procrastinate it, there's doubt. There's doubt about the outcome. There's doubt that you can do it. All signs. That you're not loving yourself, that you don't have faith in yourself, that you don't have self-confidence. You're judging yourself instead of loving yourself. So tell us what you're going to do, what you're committing to do starting today that you know, that you've known for a long time to do. It's going to make your life better somehow. And you know what the benefit is, besides being a benefit to you, everyone whose lives you touch, their life will be better because you love yourself first. I'm Ellie Bierman. You can find me at your relationship intelligence.com. Because the relationships that matter in your life are number one, the one you have with yourself. Number two, the one you have with other people. And number three, the one you have with a higher power. But notice number one there 
has to be the relationship you have with you.